Dear students, in this video we will discuss about paragraph writing in professional English or in professional communication. So as you know that any technical writing or write up is composed of uh, sentences and sentences lead to paragraphs. So any writing is incomplete without paragraphs because paragraphs only tell you what uh, the structured writing is and what how you have to mention or how you have to talk about the write-up or the thought that you have in mind so paragraph is the basic element so we need to understand what is in paragraph writing and um, what are the various types of paragraph writing and this we will discuss in detail in this video so a paragraph can be defined as a group of sentences which are related to the same topic a uh, paragraph in short is group of sentences like any two or more sentences can form a paragraph and all the sentences in the paragraph should be related to the same topic i repeat they should talk about the same topic or the same topic that we have in mind the same idea they should all be linked to one and the same thought then depending upon the types of these sentences, the paragraphs are classified. Now we will also discuss the types of paragraphs. Uh, the various types of paragraphs that we have here are descriptive, narrative, expository, that is informative and persuasive. So we will go one by one through all these types. Starting with the first one, descriptive paragraph. So this paragraph describes something or someone it shows the reader what the person or thing is like without any physical contact so descriptive paragraph is basically nothing but a visual description of something or a description or detail about something that you have not seen or maybe you are not knowing about so with that detail you get a rough idea in mind or a picture in mind that what that particular object or person or thing or place would look like so if you have to describe something if you have to tell the properties of something how something looks like how you have an experience something then you can use the descriptive paragraph writing method the features or how you will understand that which one is a descriptive paragraph is that it includes the use of the five senses of touch smell sound sight and taste see descriptive paragraph is all about how you can tell how you experience something and experience could be done by either touch or you smelled or you heard or you saw or you tasted something right uh, the use of modifiers like adjectives adverbs etc and use of figures of speech like metaphors similes etc can also be done see in your uh, modifiers can also be used like if i asked you like how did you like the food you had in lunch then you you might answer that the food was very good or the food tasted average so here you are using an adjective that is average or good to describe the food right or i i could have asked you that uh, how did you experience the last summer vacation how was your experience in of your last vacation of your last holiday then you might answer that my last vacation was very boring or my last vacation was fun or it was very exciting or i had a great time so when then we are using the adverbs and the adjectives in order to answer in order to tell the other person how the experience was also you can use figures of speech like i asked like how was the new cricket ball that you saw then you might answer that the ball was very very much exactly like the earlier one the ball was very much red in color the ball was very much heavier than what i expected so you are using maybe uh, like example a metaphor like 
what how do you find the sun so you can say that the sun is a golden ball so here you are comparing the sun to a golden ball then if the other person might have not heard about then or might have not thought about how he would define the sun then he could get an idea that okay a golden ball so he can get a picture in mind right Then next we have example of a descriptive paragraph, a descriptive paragraph on my mother. My mother is a very special woman. She is tall, she is beautiful, she always takes care of me, she cooks delicious food. My mother is the best mom in the world. So like if I don't know about your mother and you've described her like she is a tall woman and she is very pretty and then she also cooks delicious food then and then I have a basic idea that your mother is a wonderful woman right. Similarly I can also ask that uh, how was your new class teacher or how was your new class professor then you can tell that okay he is an average looking man he is a fat person okay he has a very heavy voice then I will get an idea that how the person exactly or how the person is I can get a an information through the description that you have given. Next we have the category of informative paragraph. So this paragraph explains an idea and informs about the facts. Uh, see if you have to give like point to point or like exact information or question supported by the answer which is very fact based or which is very based on some research or some work done then you will use the informative paragraph method of writing they help the reader to understand a process or a method by either explaining it or giving the instructions or steps uh, in the informative method you will discuss maybe the exact answer or the method or the way how you will solve a particular idea or a particular problem example uh, as you can see in uh, algorithm like while you are writing a program like a web to write a program to find whether a number is prime or not and you have to write an algorithm like you have to check whether a particular number suppose I give you a number uh, 62 and you have to write a program to check whether the number 62 is prime or not so firstly you will write the algorithm and if I share the algorithm with uh, some other person then he can get an idea how he needs to write the uh, code or the program in order to find the actual answer right the features of uh, informative method of writing are that they require research include examples to support the answer and often they are written in chronological or numerical order uh, like if the research is suppose a process or steps for a problem uh, then you will write maybe step number one step number two step number three and so on you will write till the last step or the final step of the answer or if the work done or your research is particularly maybe time based then you will write maybe how it started maybe the first like if I asked you the origin of how was the origin of civilization in India then you will start with the first civilization or the first family to the second to the third to the next uh, for example if I ask you who was the first prime minister and how many prime ministers have been in the country so far so we'll start with the first prime minister then the second then third and then our current prime minister of our nation example like uh, if I asked you to discuss about the country equator uh, and uh, then you do a google research and then you tell me about how the country equator is then your informative paragraph will be in the form like equator is located in south america okay then in google firstly you will see where in the map is the country located then it is a small but beautiful country it has many touristic places like the beaches the mountains and the amazon uh, so the Amazon is the river here and it has mountains, beaches, okay, so I get like it is a, it has a country which has a lot of scenic beauty in it. Then you have the climate there is great, okay, 
so i get to know that the climate is also superb and it is a wonderful country so by reading the short paragraph on the country equator i get a basic idea that it is a small and a country that is very beautiful and the the information in short if i don't have then i can get a rough idea about it so uh, informative paragraph is all about the facts and nothing that you add on from your own then we have persuasive paragraph a uh, persuasive as you can see by persuasive we mean that we convince the reader we actually like to you know the reader to accept something that we are offering him for example this paragraph tries to convince the reader of something the aim is to get the reader accept the writer's proposition or idea or proposal so like you will ask your or you will tell your reader something and then you will also ask for example if you're selling an object or you're doing a sales uh, for a particular product then you will mention all the good things all the benefits about it and then you will also want your uh, reader to actually uh, buy the product and all actually uh, get his opinion changed about the particular product that it is the best one the features are they require the gathering of facts and research also emotional words to influence are used at times the features are that obviously you need to some facts so that your readers can also believe that what you're telling is correct and emotional words also at times you use like uh, so that they get influenced and you drive them towards uh, accepting the fact that this is the best thing that you have for them example a choco energy bar uh, like patanjali has manufactured a chocolate energy bar so they mention the best chocolate energy bar in the country is patanjali's chocolate energy bar it is delicious it has milk almonds and chocolate flavored syrup it has many um, vitamins that will help you grow and make your teeth very strong buy one today so in short you have mentioned everything like the patanjali bar has very good taste it has almonds chocolate it has vitamins it is also good for health so you are convincing the the viewers who are seeing the ad or who are reading that they should buy this for their kids and they should get it today right uh, so this is how you will use the persuasive paragraph for example when you have uh, listening to some speech then you see people use the persuasive method of paragraph uh, telling or you can see in advertisements that people use the persuasive method of paragraph writing uh, next uh, methods we will discuss in continuation of this video thank you